What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And on today's video I will show you the latest news directly related to our story. I will show you uh, some uh, information uh, in regards uh, to the potential uh, value of the settlement and how we can evaluate uh, these numbers. Then I will show you an update uh, from a uh, quite interesting point of view. I will show you the discrepancy from uh, politicians in regards to the veterans who is involved uh, in the process of uh, MMTLP fiasco. Then I will show you an update from Richard Hoffman and uh, I will show you his uh, explanation of uh, the recent uh, document that was published by Meta Materials. And at the end of this video I will show you some uh, rumors and the paths uh, how we can uh, solve this problem on top of our current efforts. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. On top of that, uh, if uh, you want, you can join my Patreon account where you can uh, enhance your trading skills uh, for just $35 a month. On top of that, uh, it will help me to uh, just buy a cup of coffee. So, and let's start uh, with the news itself. I have to say that I am receiving a lot of uh, questions uh, from MMTLP holders in regards uh, to the potential value of uh, the settlement. And guys, the settlement uh, should be should uh, have uh, two parts. One part is the value, the intrinsic value of Nextbridge hydrocarbon shares, and uh, we will know it uh, right after we know the uh, real number of shares uh, that is on the so-called market right now. Then the second part uh, will be the compensation for the damages. And this is the most, uh, the trickiest part, I would say. And uh, one of uh, the damages is definitely a tax damages, uh, tax liabilities that a lot of uh, MMTLP holders have. And let me quote you this tweet that was published by Jung Sevi. It is even worse than that. And uh, she responded to the tweet that was made by Once Bug and Me. Uh, it's a Dennis Neal podcast, and you know that just recently Johnny Tabaka was on this podcast and he answered a lot of questions about this uh, saga. And uh, here is uh, the uh, one minute long audio, which explains that a lot of people uh, have uh, some tax liabilities in regards to the MMTLP fiasco. And let me show you what Junk Savvy wrote. If, as we believe, Fidelity is over their bulk certificate allotment, they reported tax liabilities via IRS Form 1099-B on dividend distributions, shares of NBH, that they could not have possibly made on shares they did not have. Tax filing fraud, wire fraud, securities fraud and more. Worth a look. And guys, yes, a lot of people have uh, tax liabilities on the actions that they didn't do. Because on the one hand, uh, their shares are frozen because of uh, this U3 hawk. And on the other hand, for example, Fidelity forced people to pay taxes uh, because of uh, the dividend distribution. And guys, it is another fraud from Fidelity and from authorities because uh, they let uh, this situation to be at this point when they don't they didn't uh, basically even start to solve this problem and that is why we are here and uh, we have a lot of people who have uh, problems with this uh, saga and uh, definitely uh, some of them are really important uh, for the entire US nation let me read this tweet that was made by Iron Ape MMTLP. And he wrote, uh, Florida veterans and disabled veterans have been contacting every office in Florida for 400 days about the corrupt in ticker symbol MMTLP. You have ignored us. Laurel Lee has ignored us. Multiple others have ignored us. How dare you tweet about supporting veterans, Ron? You've abandoned us. Fix it. What is the share count, Ron? Focus on Florida, please. And uh, let me quote you the response of uh, the retweet uh, that was made by uh, Lazy Das. And uh, it says, what he said, I have personally called your office several times since March 2023. Your stuff is great, but nothing happens. Veterans, investors and voters need you to stand up uh, for harmed investors. 
And uh, let me show you some people who are in our community and who are very, very famous. So, Iron Ape on TLP also uh, reposted this. Lieutenant Colonel Brad Shaw flew Marine One for President Reagan and Senior Bush. He is a MMTLP holder with his savings frozen the past uh, almost 400 days because of FINRA. And here is uh, the uh, tweet that uh, is uh, showing uh, this person. The guy who was uh, the pilot for Marine One for Ronald Reagan and George Bush has been seriously harmed by FINRA and MMTLP. Here is uh, this person. And uh, I have to say that we have a lot of people with uh, different, different stories. And a lot of people still uh, have a lot of problems because of uh, lack of money and because of frozen capitals that FINRA and SEC don't want to help uh, to resolve. And uh, it is uh, really upset that we are on this situation right now. But guys, we have to solve it. And uh, I will do my best in order to help you, in order to help an MTLP community and to help uh, the entire retail community to trade on a fair market. So, let me show you some details from Richard Hoffman. He just uh, published another video, uh, and uh, this uh, video is uh, directly related to uh, two questions. One of them is the Alpine issue, and the second one is the MMAT recent uh, PR statement. And guys, I highly suggest you to subscribe to his YouTube channel because he explains in a very simple uh, terms uh, the current situation uh, in regards to the different lawsuits. And uh, for example, he explains uh, why the case of Alpine might help us because uh, it is a pure evidence that uh, FINRA and SEC don't want to solve uh, the problem of uh, the fair market because it will harm their ability to uh, have this enormous uh, power that they have right now. On top of that, uh, he explained uh, uh, the most recent PR statement from MMTLP and uh, how uh, it might be related to MMTLP saga. And I don't want to spoil any uh, news, just watch uh, his video and uh, do your own conclusion. So, and let me show you a quite interesting tweet that was uh, made by Marcus and that was reposted by Sensei. Marcus wrote, Congress needs uh, to subpoena Jeff Mandel, former OTC VP, to answer how it was to participate in the meeting with FINRA about the deletion of MMTLP on the morning of December the 8th, 2022, or even a day before, maybe. This interview. Who was uh, present at this meeting, Mr. Mandel? Was Gansler participating too? Why did Trader TV uh, have a special segment on MMTLP the day before FINRA fraud fake half? And we all remember that uh, Jeff Mandel uh, responded in this interview uh, right before the U3 halt, and he said, he literally said that everybody will be able to trade uh, these uh, shares uh, after December the 8th. And on December the 8th, we had, uh, we received this uh, illegal U3 halt, and we are still there. And uh, in my opinion, it is very important to know as much information as we can. If we don't have enough power to find out the real share count uh, on a broker bar by broker case, we have uh, to uh, push this case forward from the different perspectives. And uh, I have to say that uh, a lot of uh, people uh, have uh, some results and uh, we basically have uh, several lawsuits and these lawsuits are on different uh, timeline of uh, their resolutions. And let me show you just a rumor. The rumor from Syntax Queen of the Metaverse. 14 hours ago she wrote this. I am so happy. And she tagged MMTLP and MMAT uh, symbols. And uh, to be honest, I don't know what it is all about, but a lot of people ask her what uh, is uh, the reason of uh, this happiness. And she answered, working out the execution of it all. And uh, probably we are about to see some announcement from Syntax Queen of the Metaverse, uh, and she is another headliner of our community. And that is why, guys, just wait wait for the updated information and uh, wait for the resolution. And while you are waiting, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell, and drop me a line in the comment section if you think my videos are valuable for you. See you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only got one.